We begin with the flu, RSV, COVID. The season of sickness continues, but sometimes medication, home remedies are not enough to treat your symptoms. So when should you go to the hospital? I spoke to experts and the health department to find out. Coughing, runny nose, fever. Chances are you or someone you know has come down with some type of respiratory illness. We uh, seem to be having a flu season much like pre-pandemic flu seasons. Um, so we're still seeing quite a bit of flu. Um, we're also seeing some COVID and we're still seeing um, RSV, although the RSV seems to um, kind of downtrending a little bit at this point. According to the Hawaii Department of Health, there have been more than 6,300 flu cases so far this flu season. There are an average 100 to 110 COVID cases per week, which is down from an average 130 cases last week. We did have our first uh, influenza-related pediatric death of the season. Um, it was in a child uh, from Oahu. Pratt says flu-related deaths are rare in Hawaii, but they do happen. So how do you know when you should go to the hospital? Anybody who cannot stay hydrated at home um, because they're either vomiting a lot or perhaps have um, diarrhea or they're just not able to drink um, because they're sleeping through the day um, when they normally would be um, drinking fluids they should probably go uh, to be seen either um, by their health care provider um, an urgent care. Another sign to get to the hospital if you are having a hard time breathing. Pratt says you should also head to the ER if your fever lasts more than a few days. The, the bigger concern would be how long you've had the fever and uh, if it's not going down with, with medications. While flu season isn't over just yet, she says we may be over the hump with ER visits going down. Visits for influenza-like illness and COVID-like illness do seem to maybe start to be going down. Um, so we might have reached the peak. But she says people need to continue to take precautions. The only way to keep the numbers low, though, are mitigation measures, staying home when you're sick, hand washing, getting vaccinated. It's not too late to get your COVID or your flu vaccine. For more information about respiratory illnesses, log on to cage12.com.